Hello everyone. This is Annie from Smart Heart. Welcome to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material design animation. In the last video, we had studied about the shared element transition. In this video, we will be learning about activity transition related to circular reveal animation. Let's proceed with what circular reveal animation is. Circular reveal animation provides visual continuity to show or hide UI elements. It enables to animate clipping circle to reveal or hide a view. What all this is about? On the left side of the screen, you can see the demo of what circular reveal animation is. On clicking this view that we had made for the shared element transition, we see the description of this view. You can see on clicking the layout, we see the circular animation, how it comes. This clearly demonstrates the name as circular reveal animation. The UI elements are hidden and a new UI element is shown. And on clicking it again, it is again invisible and the previous one are displayed. This way it provides visual continuity to show or hide the UI elements. Moving to Android Studio, let us proceed with the codes. So this was the shared element activity .java, which we had created in our previous video. Not much code is added for the circular reveal animation. In activity shared element .xml, the text view which we saw there, I have defined it here. This is the text view which has the width and height of match parent and I have defined its visibility as invisible because on clicking the relative layout which we have created for the shared elements is visible as of now and this text view will be replacing it when the circular reveal animation is implemented. I have provided an ID to the relative layout so that I can define the listener to it. Rest everything in this shared element.xml is same. Nothing is changed. Moving to shared element activity.java I have defined the relative layout as reveal demo and inside the init page function I have written this block of code and for the relative layout reveal demo it is fetched by its id click reveal which I have defined in activity shared element .xml. and then I have set the click listener for the reveal demo on clicking the reveal demo that is anywhere on the relative layout the make circular reveal animation function is executed in which I have sent the view as the reveal demo that is the relative layout. And after defining this, this is my make circular reveal animation function. I just have defined the text view as the text description text desc. Here I have found out the center of the x axis of the screen and here the center of the y axis of the screen. View.getLeft plus View.getRight by 2 gives us the center of the x axis and for the y axis View.getTop plus View.getBottom by 2. It gives the center of the view that we have got here in this function. Here I have found out the radius that will be needed for the circular animation. Now comes the logic. For the first time, when the relative layout is clicked, this text view is invisible. So here I check the condition for the visibility. If the visibility of the text view is invisible, the text view's visibility will be set as visible. Let me set the text for this text view as a constant that I have defined in my strings.xml. After setting the text for the text view, we will execute the circular reveal animation using the view animation utils class. View animation utils dot create circular reveal the test description which is the text view here, the center of the x axis, the center of the y axis, zero is the starting point from which the animation will start. And this radius defines up to which the animation will be extended. This start function will start the circular reveal animation. The next condition is when the visibility of this text view is visible. That is, once the circular reveal animation is executed, 
the text view's visibility is set to visible. So this if condition will be false. Coming to the else part, it will execute the reverse circular animation. To execute the reverse circular animation, we have used the animator class, defining its variable as reveal. And in this variable, we have initialized the reverse circular animation for which the starting point will be the radius and the ending point will be the center. Just the reverse of the circular animation. Here we had the starting point as zero and the ending point as radius. After initializing the reverse circular animation in the reveal variable, we will add the listener to it. Reveal.addListener new animator listener adapter public void on animation end animator animation the text views visibility will be set to invisible after setting the listener to the animator variable we will start our reverse circular animation now let us run our application and see if everything is working fine so here is our application up and running on clicking this elements the shared element transition is executed and now for this relative layout i have defined its id as click reveal on clicking anywhere in this relative layout the circular reveal animation is carried out you can see on clicking that this invisible text view becomes visible it fetches the center of x and y axis of this view and accordingly it is executed now when i click this view again the reverse circular animation is carried out so this way on clicking anywhere on the screen the circular reveal animation is carried out This way you can implement the circular reveal animation for any of the view or any element in your application to show or hide some elements behind the other. So this was all about the circular reveal animation. In the next video we will be learning about the entry and exit transition under which comes the explode transition, the slide transition and the fade transition. We will be implementing each of them using the Java code and XML codes. For the further videos on activity transition, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and have a good day.